I will. Okay. Double moon superpowers. Double moon. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Yay, we're friends with Brooke now. I think, like, <laughs> at this party, we're more not... Instead of just partying and stuff, which we probably wouldn't anyways, we're, like, making friends. Some more friends. or like, being nice and all that. Uh, I'm not looking at the drinks. Wow, there's Courtney drinking alone. Without Taylor or Victoria. Hmm. Alright, so I just got a phone call from uh, bro, but it's alright. Okay, so let's see. Should we talk to Luke? I wish someone would kick Luke. I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Great. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? Did you hear Alyssa? I just heard Alyssa. I want to make sure he's not gonna do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I don't want to talk to you. I want to save Alyssa. Okay, let's talk about the Sean Prescott. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. Yeah, you know what's up. No one up. seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Oh my god, Alyssa. I have to save her. I don't want to talk to her until I save her. I just heard her get messed up. So okay, let's see what's gonna happen, Warner. I don't know what's gonna happen, anyways. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Whoa. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Yes. Again, Mystic Max. Yes. Oh my God, it's so laggy here. All right, I'm just gonna skip everything. Blah 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 blah. I just want to talk to him so that way he knows I'm a good person, you know. So yeah. Blah 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 blah. blah. Can I leave now? No. All right, so we saved. No, uh, that's that's a terrible, terrible picture. So we saved. Alyssa. I'm surprised to see you here. See next. I've always warned you. Nathan. Have you seen Nathan around here? Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. <laughs> yes, I I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to talk. Didn't think you'd come back. I always warned you. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Tell me later. I wish I had time to hear it. Promise you'll tell me if... N next time we meet. That sounded ominous. But I promise. Be careful out there, Max. Hopefully I didn't come off in a weird way, you know? Alright, let's, uh... Graffiti. That looked like Victoria for some reason, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, girl! Oh, wait, this is the... This is the VIP. Is there anybody else we have to talk to? I don't think so. Alright, let's go to the VIP. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Wait, glow sticks? Ooh, I want glow sticks! Oh, dang it. Can't take it. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Yo. Listen, 
No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Ah, uh, uh, Courtney's over at the bar thingy. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit. Let's go talk to her. Let's go talk to her. That girl's stupid. I'm on the list. She didn't even bother looking at the list. What an idiot. Courtney! I have hey, Courtney. problem. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. Did I? You better let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Yay! Let's go kill her. Hey, kill her! Sarah, um, do you know that I personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> You're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, Oh my god, you're done! And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Yay, we're in the Vortex I don't want my yank. I just want to get through to find Nathan, you know? Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you, loser. Get wrecked. Okay, oh no. <laughs> I'm terrible. Yeah, she was pretty bad though. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Hayden, what's this? Okay. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me. I'm s and to so many others. I have to go. Um, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call me as soon as you can. Is that the only text? What's this? A bong. <sighs> Give me a break. That doesn't look right. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, Hayden? Oh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some oh dang God. OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or these hotties next to me. You want a hit? No thanks. No thanks. Come on, come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass! Oh hell no! You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. So has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here, or you could sit down and take a quick hit. Nope. Sean Prescott, Victoria. Let's Victoria. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said. I'm fucking ripped. Okay. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I feel like I I'm losing. I you and Dana to come out to a <sighs> Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? Listen, Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. I think that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Screw him. I don't care what happens to him. He's just a waste of my time. Oh my god, this chick. She like, oh my god. Hi, Taylor. Max, look at you go, girl. Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? No, that's fine by me. Morning seizure. He's been getting like too buggy and kind of scary. Victoria might know. Um, let's warn her about Nathan. How has Nathan been scary? I've always thought he was a creeper. Fun, but you can tell he doesn't give a shit about anybody. Is this why you want to be in the Vortex Club? No, Max. I'm like far from home at a great school. I want to learn things, make friends, and party. But when Kate was on the roof, I knew I'd gone too far. Kate was dozed. Why come? Why did you come tonight? Some membership dues? Don't laugh, but I had a weird vibe this might actually be the last Vortex Club party. End of the world, right? I do have to go now. Look out for yourself, Taylor. And give my best to your mom. Holy crap. Oh, thanks, Max. She's doing great after her surgery. I'm glad to know you're looking out for us, too. Holy crap. That was like seizure up in there. I hated that flashing light. It was bothering me. Hopefully no one... Yeah, if you don't... If you have a seizure problem, you shouldn't watch that. Victoria, your picture is 
warn her? I don't want to talk to this douchebag. Let's wicked. talk to her. Uh, did you Doria? I'm Sorry, Max. Vortex Club oh, members only. I Sorry. I'm on the guest list. Nice. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Nathan. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party. Everybody is wasted. What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Oh, Lord. You have talent. Jefferson, you suck. Let's talk about Jefferson. <laughs> is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Saw. And heard. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. No need. Not enemies. Why not? <laughs> Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were Abaddon-esque. Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the Vortex Club. I actually hope so, Victoria. Why do you say it like that? The dark room. Don't warn her. Oh man, this is gonna be. This is gonna be impactful. Okay, uh, let's let's the dark room. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max. But I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um... Text me if you need anything. I Yay! Mean, thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Oh wow, so we... <laughs> I think we've finally become friends with Victoria? I don't know. It seems like it. Oh my god, I hate these flashing lights. They're just stupid. Whatever, it's fine. It Maybe fine. there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm not taking a drink of that. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. Okay, let's talk to... Leave there the you party. Are. Let's leave the party. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs ah. or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Freaking Jefferson. Bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? 
You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah. Uh. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Come on! Oh my, what a shocker. <laughs> Victoria Chase. Wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I Ugh. also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. <laughs> oh my god. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. <laughs> Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Okay, we're finally out of there. Holy crap, I hate those. I just. I'm sorry, I'm whining a lot about those freaking lights. Like, oh Christ, ugh. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. I can't see Nathan doing these things, though. I don't see him doing that because he... That one time when he shot Chloe on accident, because he accidentally pulled the trigger, he didn't mean to do it. He was just, holy crap, what do I do, you know? So, I, I can't believe... Nathan's right. Time. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. Can I take a photo op here? Like this is the last one. This has to be the last one. Oh, this is so sketchy. Why are we going here? This is not even a good idea. Like this is like some type of trap or something. Okay, photo op. Let me take the photo. We have to take the photo. Rachel, I will get your revenge. I swear. Let me take a photo. Oh man. Can I like leave her? God, I wanna fucking kill that little I don't wanna follow hey, you. I can't focus if you're yelling. Please. I really wanna take a photo. Is that available? I'm not I'm assuming we can't even go there, so let's just go back. Let's follow Chloe. Da 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 This is so creepy. Who decides to go out to a junkyard at night when someone tells them they they're gonna so creepy out here. bury the evidence. Like this is screaming trap. I don't know. He's hiding somewhere. You're gonna suffer, Nathan. Oh man. Come on, come on. Nathan needs 
to die. Oh, please hurry. God. What? Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, oh. no. Chloe, look out. What the fuck? Oh! oh my god. Again. Three bullets. It has symbolism right there. I know. I think I know what that means. Chloe. Oh my god. I knew it! I knew it! I called it! I called it! I called it! I freaking knew it! Holy crap! I knew it was him all along. Achievement unlocked dark room. <sighs> Holy crap! It was Jefferson after all. It was freaking him. Like, you could tell when we were in that one room with all the scrapbooks and stuff. Those black and white pictures just scream Jefferson, and he's always one, he's been one of those characters that have been overlooked this game. No one would think that was him, but there's been select a few out there that actually thought it was him, and they were right. And I I saw it coming too. I saw it coming too. That dang, Chloe died again too. She she died like three times. What I've noticed when she was as she was falling to the ground after she was shot. There was three bullets. There was three bullets on her necklace. And I think she's been... She's died like at least three times, right? Because there was the train. There was that. And there was the time she got shot by Nathan in the bathroom. Can't forget that. So... Maybe my predictions for the next part. And I don't know if this is true or not. But... Um, maybe she won't come back to life. Maybe we can't revive her. Somehow we probably can, but... Maybe those three bullets represent the three lives she has, the three times we could save her. I don't know. Could be that. Okay, let's skip these credits and uh, let's check out what are these statistics here for our decisions. 55% um, accepted Chloe's request. Wow. Can't believe you guys. Can't believe you guys. But I, ref I refuse Chloe's request. Um, you let Warren beat up Nathan. You stopped Warren from beating up Nathan. See, 57% stopped him. So it's not only me, obviously. Uh, no one got hurt, 67%. Chloe killed Frank. Chloe wounded Frank. Dang, so if you didn't pick the right choices, you could have either wounded him or killed him. That would suck. Holy crap, I can't even imagine Frank dying from Chloe. Oh my god. Victoria believed your warning, 77%. Yes! Awesome. Victoria believed our warning. See, this is what happens when you're nice to people. They believe you later on. I feel like the choices that we made earlier on are now catching up to us. So, I'm glad, finally, yeah, those those things coming into play here. 90% um, didn't believe. Yeah, 19% of people, 40% didn't warn her. Alright. Uh, I saved the Blue Jay. Yes! I saved the Blue Jay. You let the Blue Jay die. Okay, so letting out the window was a good thing, I kind of realized. You didn't disturb the bird's nest. Awesome, 93% of us didn't do that. Good job, guys. Um, you got Davis Files in another way. Cool. You, Kate helped you find Nathan's room. Awesome, because she was alive. I'm assuming the 39% was because uh, you didn't talk to Kate or something, or those people let Kate die or something. I don't know. And 65% didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. Oh. I don't even know who Daniel was. I, I didn't even realize. Okay. I, I guess I saw him, but I didn't think of speaking to him. Um, you didn't leave a message on one slate. Oh, God. We could have. QT. Ah. I see QT. It's the periodic table thingy, right? I don't know. You didn't figure out Nathan's pin code. My bad. 79% C. You helped Alyssa. 80% helped Alyssa. That's good. We helped Alyssa. 
All right, it's time to check out the preview for the next and last episode. Episode 5, Polarized, the final episode to Life is Strange. It's been one crazy journey. It's been one crazy journey. Exit to main menu. But yeah, we get to see more of those books, those, yeah, those binders. Um, there's a tornado probably going to happen. And seems like Max is, that's her room right there. That's her room. So maybe she'll go back to her room again. Maybe Max won't die after all. She won't die. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of episode 4. If you guys enjoyed the episode, why not leave a thumbs up? And if you want to continue watching the series, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It is completely free and you'll be notified of when I upload. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my playthrough of Life is Strange. And I hope you guys weren't too bored or anything like that. Hopefully I entertained you guys enough. But holy crap, that ending. I really want episode 5 to come out now. I really, really want episode 5 to come out. I knew it was Jefferson. Frickin' Jefferson. I know that all of us probably want to kill him now. For doing what he did to Rachel and now Chloe. I don't know about Chloe though. That next episode. But yeah. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys in the next upcoming episode. So stay tuned. It's awesome. I love you all. Goodbye.